today's video, I'm going to talk about dog ear infections. Hi everybody, Chloe here. On this channel, I talk about anything dogs. So if you're new here, please think about subscribing and check out all the links down below where I list anything that I have mentioned in this video or all my YouTube equipment is also down there. So go check them out. So on today's video, I'm going to talk about dog ear infections. Let's get into the video. So dog ear infections can be extremely common in dogs with floppy ears. Ted, my Bentlington Terrier, has floppy ears and has two, had two ear infections now, whereas actually my sausage dog, Woody, has only ever had one ear infection. I think it's a case of making sure that ears stay clean and catching the ear infections early by keeping them clean. You'll know when your dog has an ear infection because it'll smell to high heaven, it will be very red inside and you'll be able to see quite a lot of wax on the outside of the ear as well. Like if you lift up the ear, you can see wax around the ear canal. You'll also see that your dog itches it constantly and they won't want to stop. The way that I treat an ear infection until I can get to the vets is I always bathe it in salt water. I obviously clean it up first and then I just squeeze some salt dark water down into the ear canal just to relieve some of the itchiness before I can get to the vets. This is the best way that i found because as everybody knows, salt water heals most things. My vets have never deterred me from doing this, they've actually said that sometimes it has helped but obviously we need antibiotics to make it much better than what it already is. So when you go to the vets they will probably prescribe you with an antibiotic. This antibiotics in our country in the UK, you put it in their ear twice a day and right into the canal, a big squeeze and then you massage the ear and you want to open up the canal ear so you pull it up and just massage, you can feel the canals uh, go down his ear just underneath and you want to massage it so it goes all the way down and obviously clears up all the wax. Your dog will shake his head, you can't really stop him from doing this. This is a good thing though because obviously it gets all the liquid down into the ear and also it gets the wax moving and you can clean up the ear. You'll also probably want to clean the ear every couple of days. Be extremely careful with this because it can irritate the ear and be very sore for the dog. So I would recommend probably using some cotton wool, some salt water and just clean around the ear. Never put anything down into the ear except for that antibiotics. You shouldn't be putting a cotton ball like stick or uh, any cotton wool because if it gets trapped down there, then you're gonna have to take them to vets and ask them to take it out. Not the most exciting moment of your life. So the great thing about antibiotics for an ear infection is that after one week, it has gone. You will start to see improvements really quickly and your dog will start to feel a lot more comfortable with this ear infection. Obviously, once the ear infection has gone, you can't stop there. Every two to three days or every week, depending on how bad the ear infection was, you want to clean the ear with a cleaning solution. You can get this from your vets and I probably wouldn't get any type from a pet store, but I would get it from a vet because they know that that cleaning solution is gonna really help their ear to keep away the, uh, to keep away the infection. So you want to keep cleaning their ears every week just to keep their ear infection away and then you don't have to go to the vets with a horrible ear infection. So there you have it, I've told you how to uh, get rid of an ear infection. Unfortunately, it's not a home remedy. I do definitely recommend that you do go to a vet and go and get some antibiotics for your dog because that is the nicest thing you can do for your dog. Don't forget to subscribe and check out all the links down below and I will see you next time for my next video. See you later, bye.